are, day four of our pan, the wrap up. The wrap up, wrapping it up. Wrapping it Always up. It's good to wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. Had a good time. Saw some great work. Yeah, I enjoyed myself. Um, so what are we gonna do today? There's noise pop. There's noise I heard pop. tell of a of a pool party, and I don't know if that's actually true, but if it is, we'll we'll take you there. Yeah, we'll take you there. I hear the pool's closed right now. It seems as if the hotels maybe have enough of the fair at this point in time. We're they not might. allowed to drink outside. They closed the restrooms, but they might be done. They might be done. We're we, you know we were tired. We're, we're essentially done. It's a pretty yeah. mellow vibe here today. Hopefully everybody does good and yeah, take you around for day four. That's right, and who knows? Maybe we'd be here back next year. give a summary. I think finally uh, this fair, I think you can declare it a success. Um, from my standpoint, we met a lot of collectors. We made some sales. Um, we certainly enjoyed ourselves. And uh, I started to get the sense that the people who came were having a good time. And I think there were some issues early on because the other fairs had bigger mailing lists and big parties to begin with, and you know you're always slightly paranoid about who's um, getting, who's grabbing the audience more. But I think as time went on, like there are fewer galleries here, and the percentage of good galleries to bad galleries is probably higher here than it is at the other fairs. And I think it started to win out a little bit among people who can distinguish the two. And so um, I went over some of the better galleries and some of the more interesting things yesterday. But just in a, in a you know, in a sort of the most uh, non, uh, I have no statistics or anything like that. It's just like a gut feeling that um, people started to like warm up to the fair as the weekend went on. And I think in, in the end it, it had a winning have a question. So, our pad is a good time. That's what we've determined. We like it here. That's why we are here. Um, art, in general, not really a good time. Not fun at all. Um, what do you think the benefit is to mixing the two? Is there a purpose? I mean... Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, you know, I've had people describe coming to my gallery like going to the dentist, where, you know, they're, they really like the experience, but they feel shaken by it, and they feel, you know, they're, and I think that's actually a plus. I, you know, it, it, I, I disagree with it maybe a little bit. Art could be a good time. There's no reason why it can't be a good time. Um, there's definitely an entertainment quotient to art, and not just like, you know, dumb art or one-liner art. I mean, good art actually, sh you know, sh can and probably should have like an entertaining quality about it, and I think when we make art now, we're often thinking about like the, the, the influences and the people we're competing with and the ideas we're competing with and the kinds of uh, uh, other entertainments we're competing with are like, you know, The Daily Show or uh, Battlestar Galactica as opposed to just like Picasso, Matisse, or uh, Baldessari. And so it should be a good time. I think if it's not a good time, then maybe there's a bit of a problem. But it could also be perverse, it could be real, it could be, you know, like real in the sense like, it could make you worry about your life. Like, you know, good work of art should make you question like what it is that you do and why. And in addition to making you laugh or, you know, weep as those people were supposed to do here who never showed up weeping. 
the Weepers. You would have thought they'd come to my gallery and leave if they're going to do anything. I do something. We have in front of barbecue pits. <laughs> yeah, be fantastic. I mean, that is a good, that's a, that would be in itself a great, you know, a, a really great performance. So, um, well, the question answered. Question answered is good. And I agree with you that art should yeah, no, have I the potential to be a good I time. appreciate the fact that you threw me a curve. All right. Well, anything else you want to say before we wrap up the um, day four? No, but I really I look forward to seeing the entirety of um, what is our live like on the internet. It's a and, it's a bender. Yeah, and uh, relive Art Pad SF 2012 over and over the whole year. I will. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of our favorites, Stephen. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much for the Wolf Report. <laughs> day four. <laughs> All right. Here we are. What is our live? We have. Guido or Guido Mouse from Beta Pictoris. Beta Pictoris in Birmingham, Alabama. Would you believe it? Would you, Would you now, believe it? <laughs> it doesn't sound as if you have an Alabamian accent. What's going on here? Where are you from? I moved to Alabama from New York. I've been in New York for over 10 years, but I'm originally Belgian. So did you just freak out? Why Alabama from New York? Well, we were, ex we were I have a lot of clients in the South. We visited them, and uh, we were expecting a child. So I can't raise children in, in Manhattan. And, and it just happened. Yeah, it was a perfect like storm. It was a thing. And we ended up there because you know there's so much to be done there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there are so many possibilities. And yeah. that's why we opened a platform there three years ago for artists and have a very strong program, which is basically probably to 80% issue-driven, content-driven, be it racial identity, obviously, you know, gender identity, of course. So, I mean, this is our program. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty cutting edge, especially for Alabama. <laughs> even 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 within the even the within this fair, but especially for Alabama. Do you have yeah. do you have do you have other galleries in Alabama that are doing things similar to you? Do you have do you have um, competition over there? Or? Yes, competition is very good. I wish I had more. I have a very very good neighbor, which is a uh, not for profit, Space One Eleven. Space 111 is since 25 years and a grant writing entity, has support from the Andy Warhol Foundation, is also a member of the Visual Arts Network, has the support of the John Mitchell Foundation, has the support of the Rauschenberg Foundation. We have, of course, the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute. Right. We have, um, of course, the Birmingham Museum. And uh, for whatever obscure reason, uh, we have a tremendous, surprising amount of very edgy contemporary art collectors. Huh. Great, fantastic. You gotta bring some of them here. Jeez. Yeah. Um, so you're you're at our edgy art market here in San Francisco. What do you think of what you've seen? Have you had a chance to scope out the other art and talk to some of the dealers and whatnot? Well, I was very happy when Arpad invited us, and uh, probably as as a as a Europe in any way, we project these ideas about what America is, and we know these cities. Probably five cities, I would say. New York, Chicago, New Orleans, LA, and San Francisco are these things where we all, you know, kind of project these things. In. And you add to that melting pot of, of ideas and probably stereotypes, all the write ups the West Coast gets when it comes to the visual arts over the past years, really, you know, f forcing in a, in a good way itself to become this art hub much more than it, that it, that it kind of seemingly has been. Right. And it was just fascinating to me to be invited and I, I'm delighted. And when I walk around, I mean, there are a couple of galleries I know very, very well, like Walter Massil from LA, uh, Max Zavatero from, from, from San Francisco. And I mean, it's a great place to be. I mean, it's a great program, it's a great city. It's a city that has, you know, for, forever, you know, had, had an edge to it. And, and, and one example is like two nights ago, Friday night, we went to, uh, uh, to the Café du Nord to watch uh, the first concert again of the the 70s punk band, the Avengers. I mean, wait, yeah. you can't buy that shit. You were there, definitely. I oh, was there. Were. Yeah, awesome. yeah, it was <laughs> great. It was great. great. Nice to know great. Each other. <laughs> <laughs> what an visit for the. For yeah, the no, it was fantastic. fantastic. So, and I, I'm glad. For, you know, I'm I'm excited to be part of it. And I brought six artists. Uh, we represent, um, uh, which kind of are probably a little bit the melting pot of, of our program, be it in the different practices from performance, video. Uh, painting, sculpture, to um, installation, whatever. But it's ins you know it's inspiring to see what other dealers do. And for us, it's really kind of the interesting part is to emphasize on the fact that being in Birmingham, Alabama, we represent nevertheless artists from New Jersey, from New York, from you know. Uh, we gave a show to Bay Area artist John Bangston. We publish books. I published actually John Bangston's book. Um, we have um, New York uh, artist uh, photographer Bayette Ross Smith. Um, 
who is very, very active uh, with Hank Witters Thomas and Chris Johnson on a collaborative project, which is Question Bridge Black Males, which is shown at the Brooklyn Museum, at the Oakland Museum right now. They have, were invited to screen at the Sundance Festival. Now they've been invited to uh, screen at the LA Film Festival. So we are very, very involved when it comes to things that can happen in communities. Nice. Great. Before we go, I heard before you're trying to teach Tim a little bit of how to say the accent right. Have you guys kind of, can you say Birmingham, Alabama? Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for talking to us. Oh, no, thanks. Yeah. thanks great, yeah, great meeting you, Gio. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, guys. This is awesome. All right, what is Art Live? Here we are with local artist Rylan Cook, recent uh, MFA graduate, and you had a show here last week, right? Yes. Last week, right here. Last week, two installations, one right there in the courtyard and one in the parking lot. I yeah. saw them. It was, I remember there's a DeLorean that was uh, Back to the Futurized, or a uh, Volvo. Oh, look at this. It's the ready. Volvorian. The Volvorian. And then this uh, Surfer Shack. Great work. Surfer Shack. I love yeah. It. We love it. Yeah, um, it's all about that Surfer Shack. So you're here now. What do you think? Can you give us a little comparison of the vibe of the MFA show to this one? Maybe. I think that the the pretty the main difference I'm noticing is that people are really relaxed here. Mm -hmm. And looks like everybody's just kind of chilling out and having a good time. Whereas at the MFA show, everybody was kind of buzzing with excitement and anticipation of the next step, hopefully coming along, waiting for somebody to come hand them an envelope full of money. And yes. it seems like nervous the, energy. Nervous energy, but a good nervous energy. It was exciting. This is, we walked in here and we were saying, like, wow, this feels pretty good. This is like, just feel like I can hang out. And so that's pretty nice. Are now, you able to step outside? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yes. And and tell us what you think about the quality of work, the difference between those two shows. What what feels better, the work here or the work at the MFA show? Well, it's so scattered here. Um, honestly, I think the work at the MFA show was more interesting to me. It felt like people were really trying, and I feel like at this art show, it's kind of like the B-sides of the galleries. And so, some of the stuff I've seen here has been really great, but a lot of it, you know, like I said, seems like it's like, okay, let's go clear out our small works from the back room. So. Some inspiration, some kind of like, all right, you're trying to get rid of some stuff. Right. Hear ya, hear ya. So. Well, anything you want to plug? Anything you got going on uh, before we let you go? Uh, no, somebody buy a house, buy my car, put it on your property, put it on your sculpture park. <laughs> Rylan Cook, great artist. Installation, sculpture, painting, check them out. Yeah, it's great work. RylanCook.com. Thanks for talking to us. Here we are, the, yeah, with the, with the, the, Great Linda Martinez. Internationally renowned, lovely lady Linda. And also the model for Eliana Lima's piece, mm -hmm. which you can see behind us. Behind us, some of her handiwork. Mm -hmm. So Linda, tell us about the experience here. What's, what's going on? This is an experience of what happens in almost every motel room. Ever since they invented motels. You're in the <laughs> <laughs> You've been in a motel, huh? Oh, God. We won't go into those stories. <laughs> if we do, I would only tell you one. But we'll skip that for now. But later. This, later. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm an uh, expert at, uh, what is it, synchronizing? They call it. Synchronizing? I'm a synchronizing expert. Oh. After 20 years working with George Kuchar, <laughs> in his class films. Because as he said many more than once in each semester class, he said, with a dead pan face, we only make family films. <laughs> <laughs> this seems so, like yet another so, family picture. You know, yeah. So we there in other words it's soft porn always and Simulated. Sim simulated. Simulated. It looks pretty simulated. steamy to me and though. It, yeah, you know, yeah. What, but I have I I was here last uh, weekend every day and I've been here most of the time this time around and we all of us are amazed at how many people thought that we were doing everything up there. Yeah. They thought it was you, really happening. Yes, they did. Well you guys do a, yeah. a pretty good job at simulating it. Yeah, it's well acted, well shot too to make it look real. Well it's just so much fun. I mean doing what I do. I mean I never did this before. Not nude. I've always had clothes on. Well, I had clothes covering my body, but as you know, working with George Kuchar, I'm his Sharon Stone. <laughs> That's right. And if you don't know what that means, everybody out there, that means I don't mind showing my bush. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you I, shave? I hope, I hope that doesn't bother you. 
Oh, yeah. it doesn't bother us. <laughs> no, we're, we're okay with it. And I hope it doesn't bother any of you out there who are watching this, because it is easy for me because I am a naturalist. What's a naturalist? Well, in Europe they know what a naturalist is, but in the U.S. we're trying to get that point across, that it's perfectly all right to run around naked if the weather requires it to. Yep. There you go, naturalism. 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 Yeah, I'm, I'm a member of one of the best clubs in the Bay Area. It's called Lupin Nature's Club, out of uh, Las Gatas. Beautiful. There you go. Now, before we go, one more question. Last year, I think we interviewed you here at ArtPad as a buyer. Are you here just to see your oh. exhibition, or are you here scouting out the art scene, too? Because I know you do collect art. Oh, yes. Well, I, whenever I'm around art, I'm always scouting. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm around men, I'm scouting, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Not, not to let the ladies out here. Hey. <laughs> I'm always scouting yeah. out beautiful people, and I'm scouting out talented people, and if you're really talented, I don't care what you look like. You can be a frog. Maybe the sea will give you and a girl. You, you heard of the f prince who was a frog, you know, that fable? Mm -hmm. you Absolutely. Know? Okay. So you got my... <laughs> so on either sense. side of that, have you scouted anyone out today? Well, you know, I, it wasn't in my main thought, but yes. And yes. yesterday, yep. now they're probably some. But you know what? <laughs> I think that my colleagues are, are the best. Yeah. So <laughs> we think here's, so too. Here's, so. <laughs> here's here's to Iliade, Here's to James. And here's to Chris. That's you. <laughs> and you, Tim. And, and we, here's and to Linda we, Martinez. Welcome, Linda. Thank you so much. You. Thanks for being on the show. Oh, it's been my pleasure. There's like a thousand people here right now. Have you done a head count? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's about it feels a, like it. It feels like a lot. Yeah. yeah. So what is our live day four? Wrapping it up with Maria Jensen, yeah. the Wrap director extraordinaire. Day four wrap up. Cheers. 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 I didn't get them tickets. So we, did it. Oh, we did it. We did it. You did it. <laughs> Fist bump. Fist bump. Hey. There it is. How'd it go? You happy? It's all good. I'm very happy now. Good. Very happy. I mean, good. the only thing that's missing is like we need to like have a big spit of fire and we need to like yeah. sacrifice a pig and roast it. Amen. Yes. And that right there. next year we're roasting a pig. Next year. I've already do that. I got it down, man. I'm yeah? working on it. Working ah, on it. I'm working on it. I got we my need pig to make connection. This happen. <laughs> See, when you do an art fair, it's not just about the galleries that you get. It's not about like sponsors. You got to have a pig connection. Yeah. 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 That good meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We're here for connections. We're here for connections. Too. This is a butchery city too. People love yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. They love it. They love their meat. Shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. And thank you for you guys coming out and participating because that's meant a lot to myself and everybody else that you guys are here. Thank you. Hey, thank you for saying so. Thank you. 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 Thanks for having yeah. us. Seems like yeah. everybody's happy. So. No, yeah. everybody's happy. I mean, I, even the competition came by. I yeah. don't like to really call them the competition. It's actually <laughs> now becoming a friend. Yeah. And they were Good. happy with what Good. was happening here, too. And we had Beautiful. spontaneous pool action today. Yeah, that was not curated, okay? That was not curated. That was just spontaneous. <laughs> and that's what ArtPad is about, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. I hope awesome. so. Yeah. Well, anything you want to say before we leave you off for the year? Well, I just would like to say that I want to thank all the people who have participated in this and brought everything together. And uh, we will be back next year. And I just want to thank you guys because you guys are here in the Bay helping to keep things real. Do what Managing. we can. Do. But uh, Art Pack 2013. We'll see you then. All right. See you then. See you then. Thanks, Maria. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you. Yeah. <laughs> Ready. Here we are, What is Art Live. We got a crew interview. Yeah. Hey, the crew. The crew, they've been here with us all day, behind the camera. All day, all week. Four days. All week, all day, yeah. We got David Naylor. Hello. And we got Tom Fritchie. So real quick, you know, as general outsiders to the art fair scene, we want to know what you thought. David, I'm going to start with you. How was the experience here? It was really interesting. I've never done anything like it. I probably won't again. You're not going yet? Well, maybe. I mean, if I'm invited. <laughs> What about, what about you, Tom? Tom, we know you're a lover of art, right? It's your favorite thing. Absolutely. Your I have the favorite? biggest wood right now. Big wood. Mm. Big wood for Tom Fritchie. Big Fritch, wood, Tom, Tom Fritchie. No, yeah, if um, if there weren't the two of you, and David, of course, and if it weren't for the beer, I probably wouldn't come of my own volition. Do what, know? What, what would you be doing right now? I'd be sitting at home watching The Wire and a wife beater and eating caramel corn like I was doing for the last eight hours. 
and some advice all of you art fans can probably do well to heed. So, David, one more thing, it's going to be a quick quote of you, but how did maybe your expectations of, like, hey, you want to come work this art with us, how were they met for uh, this There was a lot less working than I thought there was going to be. A lot, a lot. We try to keep it pretty laid back. No, it was great. It was a good experience. I, mean, I ain't we, done we, we dicks got since work done. Work was work was had, but there was also a lot of good times, a lot of friends, a lot of drinking, good times. There you go. Even the crew beautiful. loves it. What the hell? It's beautiful. Thing. Well, I cannot thank you enough, David Naylor and Tom Fritch. <laughs> Cheers, Here's everybody. To you. Cheers. Cheers. Right. Hey. You're welcome. All right, here we are, year two of ArcPad. What is Art Live, Art Pad SF 2012? Four days, marathon. Marathon, we did it. We did it. We made it through. We made it through. And I feel all right. I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, yeah all in all. It's a good time. Pretty, pretty good time, you know? It seems like everyone else had fun yeah. as they continue to around us. I'd say it was a success. Met some nice people. Everyone was amicable. I think so. So, I think so. thank you all for watching if you have. I'd be amazed because it's hard to do, never mind watch. But we yeah. love it. We love you. Make it to the end. end. Yeah. But we'll yeah, maybe see you here next you. year. If not, you'll see us around. Yeah, we'll we got, be around. Uh, we got Queens Nails projects coming up. We'll be doing That's something right. there with Josh Peeper. So That's right. Next week, we'll check us out. Out.